Hi, my name's Steve and welcome to the Seaside Allotment Channel. I'm feeling a bit rough today, I'm a bit tired. It's cloudy and it's cold and I've got a really bad headache. So I was going to do some work on the allotment but I've decided I've just come in here, I'm going to make a video, I'm going to go home. So, peppers. I thought we'd just do a quick catch up on the peppers to see how they're doing. If you remember they had a bit of a mm, touch and go kind of start. They had a lot of problems with green fly at home. Um, I sprayed some of them with pyrethium and that was not a good idea. It's crinkled all the top leaves up, really horrible. I think I'm going to pinch those out uh, on some of them. The ones that I just treated with neem oil have done really well. The ones that I planted early haven't done so well. The ones that I left at home have done better. So it's really quite a mixed bag. So um, you get to see quite a range really of different uh, peppers in different kind of, kind of conditions. And I suppose I wouldn't say that I'm happy with any of them. None of them look really healthy. And I think that's partly because it's just been so cold at night for the last uh, week or so. Um, we've had lovely warm days, but it's dropped below 50 degrees pretty much every single night. Um, I think last night it was down at 43 degrees or something like that. So, you know, fairly cold for June. Um, and that's in the polytunnel. So uh, yeah, okay, that's enough <laughs> rambling. Let's have a look. So these are the peppers in the polytunnel. Quite nice, compact plants. They're all fruiting to various degrees, but they're a bit small, I think, to have fruits this size. But I said, I'm very inexperienced at growing peppers, so I'm not really sure. Um, but they look, pretty healthy. I would say they're the healthiest looking uh, plants that I've got and they have suffered a bit because they were planted out too early now I think in um, I think about the 5th or 6th of May they had two or three frosts uh, they were well protected in here but still the temperature got down you know really low very very close to freezing in here so um, yeah not a very good start. These are Anaheim and these are not very far on, but they're looking okay. And these again are under in the polytunnel and they're underneath the trestle table, but they're doing all right. But these are again, they had a couple of frosts on them. So uh, yeah, not a good start for them. And these down here, these are the very last plants to go in. And these are too tall to fit under the trestle table, so I took the tops off. And I am starting to get, as this was only a week or so ago, um, maybe a week ago, I'm starting to get some side shoot growth. I just noticed I've also got some green fly on these. You can kind of tell when there's green fly coming because you see the ants <laughs> climbing up the stems. Next up are the outdoor peppers and these have grown in these little low tunnels which of course are in winter really are full of all of my leafy greens and what I've done is I've just put an extra layer on just to raise the height up so normally they just sit on that lower level I've put this extra level on here um, and in this case I put a cold frame top on and in that case, I put an extra level and a cold frame top on. So I've got various heights in here. But it was really cold again last night, and so I left them closed up. So let's have a look at these. So these are looking the healthiest of all of my plants. Some of them have got quite a lot of peppers on, but there's one rot in there already and I do find that uh, I do get a few rotting like that well I've only grown them last year but uh, maybe 20% or something like that rotted so any hints on that I don't know it's definitely not blossom end rot or anything but uh, it's something So another one rotted. 
So I was debating whether to take some of these early fruits off anyway because I wanted the plants to put their effort into growing rather than growing fruits. This has kind of decided me on that strategy. And then these plants are cyan peppers. And there's quite a few on here. Um, I'm just checking for green fly. Most of it seems to be the remnants of previous infections. They're looking pretty good. I don't think that one's rotting. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's ripening. Bell peppers. These are new ace. These are looking quite nice. And there's no real sign of these rotting so far. So I'm quite pleased with those. They're coming on well. Got a lot of nice side shoots as well coming on some of these, which is nice to see. And there's more of the cyan peppers and more bell peppers. And I think these are California Wonder. And then finally these are California Wonder. Again, they're coming on quite nicely. Lots of side shoots here. And these are the ones that I was really worried about, the leaves getting damaged by the um, pyrethium. But actually they seem to be outgrowing that now. So I'm not, uh, I'm actually quite pleasantly surprised to see that. Again, not a significant amount of green fly, although maybe on that one. I just yeah, there's a little bit on that. So maybe these are working up to needing spraying again. But again, I'm quite happy. There's some reasonable sized fruits on these now. And the building site's starting up, so uh, I'm going to have to finish this video. But anyway, the way that these were grown they were just grown in a conservatory, uh, a little bit of artificial light from Spider Farmer Grow Lights and a lot of natural light. Uh, the temperature in the conservatory was kept above 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and I think that makes a big, big difference. And of course, as soon as they got out here in the ground, they were no longer in that controlled environment. But they seem to have survived, just not thrived, perhaps. But they're pretty good. I'm quite happy with them. My second year. So this is how they look on a sunny day. On their chocks. But it's not a sunny day today. The chocks are just laid down. And they just get a little bit of ventilation. But they keep nice and warm. So I hope you like this quick video. How are your peppers doing? I'm very inexperienced with peppers. Uh, this is only my second year of growing them. So any hints or tips are gratefully received. My name's Steve. This is the Seaside Allotment Channel. And I'll see you soon. Bye.